what's going on YouTube <coughs> what's happening Reddit 19 here back at you guys with another video if you're new to the channel please like comment subscribe and hit your notification bell drop as many comments as you can down below like and share video you guys today we actually before I get started and everything I hope everybody's having a beautiful day sorry if you hear noise in the background that is my refrigerator unit uh, keeping my eggs cool I just picked up a load of eggs about 43,000 pounds and everything so I want to let you guys know that excuse me but um I want to you know talk to you guys today about and everything and, uh, another ooh, excuse me another important subject and everything and it's called shit why should I be committed in relationships and I say that to us as a whole not just me not me particular but all uh, as a whole everybody you guys relationships are important and they, you know, people don't take them seriously. People marry and get in relationships for the wrong reasons. A lot of people, a lot of men get in relationships because a woman is beautiful. A lot of women get in relationships because a man got money. Everybody seems to, have, especially nowadays, to have a negative agenda about relationships. And that is not how it's supposed to be ran. Marriage is the only relationship that God respects between a man and woman. And <coughs> America have you know like i said before they have just screwed up everything you know took took and twist everything that uh what god intended for but um you guys when you're in a relationship make sure you get in a relationship for the right reasons make sure you know your partner make sure you do your study make sure you know you know what type of person uh in my case by me being a man what type of person she is the woman and if it's a woman you want to know what type of man you're dealing with wouldn't know their pros, their cons, what make them happy, what make them sad, what what piss them off, what what don't piss them off and everything. You need to know these things. That way that help you guys' relationship stay intact. Because you're going to have challenges. Okay, I don't care how you cut it, how you slice it, I don't care if you fat, stinking rich, you're gonna have challenges. So you wanna face those challenges head on and you wanna make sure you do them right and everything. Also, always be cognizant of each other's feelings. Okay, don't say what we call red words to each other. Like, you're an idiot. You're stupid. I should have never married you. You're dumb. Your family is dumb. Your mom is was stupid for having you. Uh, you you ain't worth the man. You, you ain't no good man or whatever the case may be and everything. Or you ain't no good woman. Or Joe, Joe's better in bed than you. Or Brittany's better in bed than you and everything. You don't say stuff like that to your, uh, your partner, your spouse, your wife, or your husband. You don't say stuff like that, okay? That you don't do. Those are what we call rare words. They're going to start a huge argument. Might lead to something worse. So you want to make sure and everything that you know what you're doing. You want to make sure that you know you try to spend as much time around each other. I mean, I understand absence makes the heart goes for, go fonder, as they say, but you want to make sure that you know each other. You don't want to just jump into a relationship and everything because he got a pocket full of money. I, mean, I did many videos about that or she got a bad body. Okay? So you want to make sure and everything that you guys both love each other, you respect each other, you care about each other, and above all else, you have God in you guys' relationship. Don't be having a bunch of people on the outside telling you, girl, you can do better than him. Oh, man, you need to you know, spread your wings, man. She ain't no good. You got to get you up with somebody better and everything. You don't need negative people like that in you guys' life, okay? A lot of people are, are afraid of relationships and everything for the simple fact is because look what's happening in the world. I mean, you get women and everything who's marrying, marrying dudes and everything. Look at the Dr. Dre situation. You get women that's marrying rich dudes and everything, and for whatever reason, some don't work and everything. And next thing you know, somebody got to pay alimony or paying child support or alimony and she get to go with another dude and everything or vice versa or uh, she's paying alimony or paying some information paying money off and everything it, it, it just crazy people don't need to take a, a, a class a one on one about how to be in a relationship that's not how you do no relationship you want to you treat each relationship and everything that you're in or you're connected to with respect and with the time that it needs to be put in that's the only way that it's going to grow and everything. And i tell you something else. This may be surprising to some of you guys, but argument is good in relationship.
because we're on both sides, y'all want to see how both of y'all respond when y'all get upset or get mad. You want to make sure. You want to see, well, is he, is, is he this type? Do he like to hit when he get mad? Do she like to storm out and go get her another dude or another nigga and everything? You need to know these things before you guys get connected. You need to know these things. Relationships are serious, you guys. Take them serious. Don't get married or get hooked up with somebody for the wrong reason. Don't don't get hooked up with somebody just because they cute or they beautiful and everything. Y'all go half on the baby and everything. As soon as the baby get here, everybody just split their ways and get divorced. That's not how a relationship's supposed to be. You get all these damn high class and high priced celebrities do all this crazy shit and everything. A lot of it's for attention. A lot of it's for attention. You sit here and you go screw this woman, get her pregnant, knowing you married to this woman. Now you got a chick on the side. Now the media sites is blowing up. Everybody's saying, girl, you know who slept with who? He gave his baby. Who give a damn? That's the problem. There's too much, too much rhetoric out here. Who give a damn? Well, make sure that you, if you are in a relationship, make sure you are committed to that relationship. If you are a happily married man, you shouldn't be creeping around on your wife. If you're a happily married man and everything, you shouldn't be looking at other women when your wife is present. She, she, I'm going to be bluntly honest with you. She should be the only ass you should be looking at. Not no other woman. You shouldn't be looking at no other woman's chest. Uh, another woman bend over in front of you and everything. You shouldn't be looking at that. That's not That's not right. Well, you don't understand. I didn't do anything. She been over from me. And you got control of your damn body. Get up and leave. And same thing with you women and everything. Don't sit there and uh, if you got a good husband, sit there running around and cheat on a man. You know, I keep I keep telling you and everything. And God sees this stuff, you guys. He sees it. And you got people gonna keep running around doing these things. Keep running around here acting crazy. Keep running around here, you know, marrying people for money, dating people for money on the low. They mess around and everything, and they get caught up and everything. Then you look around like, well, why did this happen? Sometimes we self-inflict our own wounds, you guys. You want to be in a relationship for love and keep God in your relationship. Don't be keeping, get away from people who try to talk down on you guys' relationship. Get away from people and everything who always talk down to my, if you got a good man and he does work hard and everything, he's trying to do right and everything, work with him. Don't sit there, well, I can get me somebody better. Well, if that's the case, so can he. Somebody to appreciate him and vice versa. Don't talk down on your woman. If you talking about, well, she ain't got, she ain't built like this woman over here and everything. Mother, nigga, you knew that before. You knew that when you met her. And I bet you she probably more loyal and more true to you than the other woman you looking at. And you got to be careful. Everything glitter and gold, man. Well, you think that's a real, she look better than your wife and everything. Come to find out and everything. That shit is made of plastic. <coughs> I'm telling you. That ain't her real hair. That ain't her real nail and everything. Be true to what you got at home. Be true to that. Work it out, y'all. Work it out. Talk to each other. Spend time with each other. Go out on a date. You know, sit back and talk with each other. Play games and stuff with each other. Don't sit, don't get involved with all this social media and what you see on TV. That's a bunch of bullshit. Keep God first in you guys' relationship and everything. What God put together that no man put, put us under. Don't get away from people and everything. We talk down about your husband. Get away from people talk down about your wife okay and don't and for you men out there don't let no man or woman disrespect your wife and you same thing with you women don't let no man no no man or woman disrespect your husband don't let no family member disrespect your husband or your wife or friend a co-worker and everything protect each other cover each other that's what you that's what it's about and everything it ain't about oh uh, well he got a million dollars in the bank i'm gonna hook up with him tonight well, she got a nice ass and everything. I'm going to hook up with her tonight and everything. You guys know that ain't how it's supposed to be ran, you guys. Come on now. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing. Relationships are serious. Marriage is the only relationship God honors between a man and woman. Get it together, you guys. Love each other. Sit down and talk with each other. Now, like I said, a lot of men are afraid to commit in relationships, meaning, you know, the uh, getting married and everything because they worried that if they get married and get signed off and everything <coughs> that if all things don't work out she's going to take half his money look at the dr dre situation he sit there and everything <coughs> i mean i don't know all the 
<coughs> details and everything, but he sit there pretty much and said, you know, he's paying money, and I think it's alimony or something to his wife and everything, and stuff ain't working out because they were married. They'll either have or a large portion of his money go to her, and she can be over there messing the screw with another dude. The same thing with a woman, yeah. If a woman got more money coming in and the man ain't acting right and he leaving and everything, he might get the portion of the money. So you guys and everything, you got to be careful that a lot of people are scared to get in a relationship because of everything that's going on in this world. Don't listen to TV news or media and everything about a relationship. You listen to God himself. Okay? I'm just letting you guys know that and everything. Get out of this nonsense thinking that you are Everything you see on TV, that's how a relationship's supposed to be. Cheating on this woman, cheating on her with her sister by the high the back, catching him coming in. You catch you coming in from work, you catch her with another man laid up, you come in from work, catch him with another woman laid up and everything. That ain't how it's supposed to be. If it ain't working out, save that. And y'all part ways. But don't sit there and everything and and, and uh use somebody. Or play with somebody hard. That's how people get killed. If it ain't working out, part ways. If you think it can work out, then sit down and talk. Go to therapy if you have to. Go to uh, marriage class or counseling or something. <coughs> and then also, both man and woman, make sure you stay away from people who do not have experience in marriage or relationships and everything for the simple fact is they'll tell you.